And we are live guys, what is up guys, Cap over here, and welcome to another episode of Rocket League, as you guys have been really showing off for this, and I've been really enjoying this series. Um, I know we've already uploaded like two episodes, and the first one got, got a great reception, and the second one, it got a bit mixed in with like, in between the early, early morning show. Uh, the early, the early, early morning cast actually, because I did not want to get it mixed up with just like a TV show. I didn't want to like deceive you guys. I'm thinking it was like a, a show or a something. It's just a podcast. So I tried to put in podcast and it didn't really fit in. And uh, that, that sort of explains what's going down. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah. I apparently I swear or use any profound language because it's in YouTube now, <laughs> which sounds a bit ridiculous. Nope. Sounds a bit ridiculous. It's a bit ridiculous, actually, the new the new uh, rule that they're announcing. Cause there's like like one per uh, like one person on on the Discord chat was making the argument that ESL monthly. Yeah, one guy was making a point that in ads. There's, there's all this, uh, like controversial, controversial, controversial stuff, right? And, oh, oh boy, we're just hitting. So there's all this, like, things on the, like, on advertisements. Oh, what's he doing? So there's, like, you know, there's beer, which... <laughs> so there's like beers and girls bouncing and that's not highly suggestive but that's allowed while you know if you're just saying like if you're just swearing then that's not allowed when there's like so many worse things or or there's a like for example a doom ad then they don't they don't want that or like, it's okay showing a doom ad when people's limbs are getting torn off, but it's not okay to to swear, I guess. And like, it sounds like a feeble attempt to control to control like what you're being viewed. Or it's it's a lousy way for like YouTube creators to really like that requires like money through uh through those, these debates and whatnot, a lot of it will be like, I don't think it'll be received greatly. Like it's, it's, it's weird. It's a weird rule to have, especially, especially when there's like YouTube, like there's so many content creators that just make money from just swearing and yelling or YouTube creators who make content with controversial topics as uh, Paul, Paul, politics and whatnot it, it doesn't make sense to me like it just it really doesn't make sense to me because then it's a fine line on what's what's bad what's good or what's what's suggest suggest blah, blah, blah. suggestive to uh to different people because it's like different rules of of you know you're allowed to show that but you're not allowed to show that but to someone else that could be prof like profanity while another person is it's good. It's like, okay. So it doesn't make sense to me because it's like, there's diff different definitions of profanity and each person has like a different view on that. Oh, he's going to put it in. So yeah, like I'm a bit confused on that and it doesn't make sense to me. Oh man, this guy. Look at that. Look at that. ESL of the month, I think. Nice. This guy's good. I don't want to, I don't want to. I don't want to go at him again. <laughs> He's too good. He would just carry the team on his back. Uh, but yeah, that's that's really weird. It seems a bit controversial. Weird thing for YouTube to do, but hey, they they do whatever they do and whatnot. I guess. I guess it makes sense. I guess. 
I guess so. I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird touchy subject, and I feel like every person's gonna have a different opinion on it. Oh, nice. Just jumping into this. Uh, anywho, what else do we have to talk about today? Oh, yeah, so... I've been introduced to some new Tupperware. Uh, Crump, like I said before, he got a new job, so he decided to splurge to make life easier. And he got a scrub daddy, new Tupperware, a pizza cutter. That's, that's, you know you're making cash when you get a pizza cutter. Uh, it's, it's like an, it's a nice pizza cutter, but I feel like he should have. Oh, no, that was, my, that was my bad. I feel like he should have gotten like a pizza cutter thing, like a, a big one, because the cardboard box isn't really that good. But having a pizza cutter regardless is pretty cool. I don't, I don't mind it because, you know, whenever you cut pizza, it's like, oh, it's so frustrating because you got it from the, the store. And you sometimes you just want to like a lazy, lazy dinner. Don't mind me, I'm just going to be floating here. Uh, and the worst thing is having like, I don't really, I got, I had no boost. So like the worst thing is like getting, like trying to cut it with your knife and you're just making it worse. It's like, ah, frustration. That's what I always feel like. But I, I, I also want to get like, like a pizza pan cutter. Cause that's, that, oh boy. Just hitting me on, where are you going man? He's gonna miss. Uh, that's, that's... Really? That's gonna go in. That's... I think that might... Nope. Ah! So... He's, he splurged out a bit and he got like a scrub daddy. And scrub daddies are pretty cool. If you guys haven't seen scrub daddies or ever use a scrub daddy... I would recommend it. Like, dishes are so much more easier. Oh boy. And, uh, like, cleaning forks, knives. Just cleaning stuff is, it's, it's nice. I don't mind it. Cause, like, you can put the forks and then the, the spoons in its mouth and it sort of cleans up nicely. Then you can put the forks in the... In the mouth too. Is this guy just staying here? I'm gonna blow him up. No, no, he's not. So yeah, it's so nice. Plus, when like, I never realized how how nice scrub daddies are. For like, that was a shot. For uh, cups. Or bowls because having like a circular sponge is so nice because you can just like because the eye holes are used as grips so you can um I'm like gesturing with my hands thinking you guys can see it but you can't so when you're cleaning a cup those two holes or like the bowl and just do do your thing you, you sort of just clean up and it's like <laughs> I, I feel a bit spoiled now because now cleaning stuff is so much more easier come on come on oh come on really so close and then he just he just vaulted I don't know what that did Uh Oh, that's that's pretty good. We got to get at least one goal. We've been goalless for like almost two matches. 
we had a lot of good luck at the the start of the series where we where we won a couple games, but I, I <laughs> it's not luck. Won it by skill. But now now it's been it's been pretty tough. It's been pretty tough. Oh no! I felt like I had a chance there. I felt like yeah, but scrubbed eddies. If you guys ever get a chance or have enough money or just graduated from school and got a really smoking nice job, buy a scrub daddy. It, uh, they're the bomb. If you don't have a dishwasher or anything, buy a scrub daddy. They're only like, <laughs> I want scrub daddy to sponsor me now. <laughs> that's my that's my goal now to get YouTube famous, get a sponsor from scrub daddy, and just like have him. Oh come on, go in. No. <laughs> Uh, that's a good save though. That's a good save. That's a good save. And then just have him like, just keep on giving me scrub daddies for, for life. Or just, you know, mention it a couple times in, uh, in life. Just be like, yeah, buy a scrub daddy only for $4.99. Uh, get yours today because they're really awesome. They're really awesome. Like, they're so good. I'm not even not like I'm not even kidding. Getting sponsored by Scrub Daddy and having a lifetime supplies of Scrub Daddies would be incredible. That's that's almost the dream, but that's the 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 I guess if you ever have like enough cash to spend on Scrub Daddies, then go ahead, do it. But yeah, they're nice. I like them. Recommend it. Recommend it. So yeah, Crump Crump did a bit of splurging and helped out, so that's always good. Oh no! Oh. All right, we're gonna win this one. We're gonna win this one right here. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Oh. I know. Whenever I play Rocket League, I always swing my foot, thinking that, like a soccer ball. Oh, I'm just gonna miss that. Thinking that I would kick it with my foot. Not the case. Not the case. Getting a lot of speed here. Ooh. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> Just pause. Alright, I guess that was a nice little boost for helping me save it. Oh! Something that I want to talk about, actually. Um, How I Met Your Mother. The ending. I watched it again. Oh! Uh, so I watched the ending of How I Met Your Mother. I watched the whole series. It took me like a month or two to watch it. And I was watching it with my friend and she got so upset of the ending. She was so pissed. Like, she was so mad. Because... Because I, I, I knew, like, I already watched the ending when when it was released. When it was released, and... Oh, wow. The Herminator? I wonder... I think that's a guy from YouTube. Herminator? I'm pretty sure it is. There's a guy on YouTube named Herminator. Used to do Pokemon videos. F. F. Tom knows. <laughs> these guys. He, these guys can't swear anymore because it's it suggests bad content. Thanks to the new YouTube thing. Now I can't put it on ads. Thank, thank you, man. Thank you. Oh. So yeah. <laughs> Blazing pigeon. <laughs> He's so salty. Uh, so, so she watched the ending, and she was so mad, because like, for those of you who haven't watched it, you, you guys should watch it, but stop watching this video if you haven't watched it and don't want it spoiled. Um, like, right now, because I'm going to talk a bit about it, and I don't want to spoil it to you guys, or be that guy who spoils it without a warning. So stop the video right now and save yourself a heartache. But 
Robin ends up with Ted, and Ted ends up with Robin. Barney, like, <laughs> Barney becomes the Okay, that's nice. Come on, come on. There we go. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, what, what's his name? So Barney ends, becomes a dad, Marshall and Lindley get another kid, which is the only ending that seems appropriate because, you know, they, I figured they get a kid and you sort of left them on touch and they be, they're still like the best characters in the, not in the game, in, uh, How I Met Your Mother. But everyone's super upset that the mom died and, you know, Mar Ted ended up with, with, uh, Robin. And the mom died because the mom was really awesome. Like, I really wanted to know more about the mom. And they sort of just killed her off. I was so upset about it. It was so it was so dumb. I was so upset about it. And like It shouldn't have been that. Like, it should have been that Barney and Robin sort of, you know, they stayed together. They adopted a kid from Argentina. Like, I would have been okay with that. Because that's, that's like a nice, good, happy ending. Wow, we're just scoring now. So yeah, Ted, and then Ted and the mom would end up together. And I don't know, maybe they have like... Like kids or something, and they could make a sequel. Or they could make like a little spin-off, like How I Met Your Dad. But no, they just, they just killed her off. I, that's just... Ah! It makes me so mad. Much more mad than it should make me. But it makes me so mad. Like, ah, oh, so mad. Like, because oh, how I met your mother was so good. I didn't even mind the the filler episodes in the final season. Because rewatching it, you gotta really appreciate, um, like the development of each character. Like, you gotta learn a lot about each character. And, um, get a new, oh, and have, like, a brand new light shine upon them. Like, you learn a lot about Barney, and you, you really appreciate it because Barney is a really good guy. Like, throughout the season, or throughout How I Met Your Mother, he's, he's actually a really good guy. Go in. Like, he's a really good guy, and you really grew to like him. And, um, and then just having him, like, just ruined it in the next couple of episodes was just, ugh, so bad. And, and then it was just, uh, I don't know why they did that. It was so, I was so upset. I was so upset. And even, like, even rewatching it, I'm like, come on, really? 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 Come on, guys. Really, you would do this to me? But, I guess I should, I should, I should pitch you guys a question of the day. Did I actually get... Really? I actually got MVP, though. Wow. I only got one goal. Three assists. Anywho. Let me know in the comment section down below how disappointed were you with How I Met Your Mother. If there's some way of actually, like, rejuvenating that joy of How I Met Your Mother. And, you know, if you guys can convince me and say, like, oh, How I Met Your Mother was actually good because of the ending because of yada yada yada. Then I'll kindly like I I would be happy to hear it because the last episode made me upset, and even to watching to this very day it still makes me upset. Like I still want to punch a hole in my wall, walk away, punch another one, and then hide it with a picture. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Try to not watch How I Met Your Mother the final episode. All the rest of the episodes are cool. This is Cap signing off.